Holy buckets, are we in a pickle. Stand by. Hey everybody, welcome back to Rattle King Guitar Restorations. I am James. You know it's serious when I have the cell phone to film with. Because that means I don't have time to get the camera rigs and the microphones all set up. Because, uh, you know, we're in the middle of school. We're also in the middle of a part-time gig and a couple other things. The task at hand is we are working on this Craftsman Radial 100 radial arm saw. And we have it fitted with the Stumac uh, fret slot blade. And the intent is to make us a nice little jig so we can do the fret slots in fingerboards. Or I call them fingerboards too, but frets on them. And then it's a fretboard, you know, fight me. Uh, so anyways, the problem is I've got some wiggle like right there. Uh, let me show you. I'm going to get on the other side. Sound's going to change a little bit. <clears throat> so the intent is that this does this. Cuts us out a nice little 23 thousandths wide fret slot for us to pound the tang of the fret in. Here is the issue. I am right here at the end of where we're gonna cut. And as you can see, I have fairly precisely got us located at zero. So here's the issue. If there's a little bit of pressure back this way, I can deflect out a little bit. If I have pressure this way, I can deflect a whole bunch. So that's 15 and we'll call that three. So that's 18 thousandths deflection on a fret slot that's only 23 thousandths to begin with. So I'm coming to the hive mind to see if you guys have a solution on how to tighten this up. I have that tightened up as much as she'll go. What we're still getting is the wiggles somewhere here in the column. And I'll be honest with you, because as far out as we are, it's only, you know, 15, 18 thousandths of an inch. It's very difficult to tell if my movement is from this interface or if it is somewhere up in the yonders here. So if you got an inkling on uh, which way we need to be going with this, give us a holler. Uh, because we do have two other options. We can take this same blade and we can put it on a table saw and we can make a uh, upside downy slotting dealio, but I'm not too jazzed about that. Uh, the other thing we can do is we can spend our hard earned American pesos and uh, get us a manual uh, slotting jig Again, I'm not, not too terribly jazzed about that because I'm somewhat pressed for time on uh, getting this done with everything that's happening. So that's the question in point. This, what can we do with this to possibly stop th this fish flapping thing that's kind of going on so that a 23 thousandths wide fret slot will stay 23 thousandths wide and not get embiggened if you're going down towards this end and you're kind of, you know, cattywampus. Anyways, that's what's going on. I uh, hope you guys are having a great day. We're in drunk Ohio weather. Yesterday it was 75. Today it was, I don't know, 29 or something silly like that. It's crazy. Anyways, you guys have a great weekend. Remember, if I can do it, you can do it. Cheers. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey everybody, thanks for hanging out with us this afternoon here at Rattle Cane Guitar Restorations. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to click my beautiful face above. Hit the bell to be notified next time we drop a video. Here's a video uh, that the hive mind has picked out especially for you. And remember, if I can do it, you can do it. You guys have a great weekend. Shut up, cat! Cheers.